And we're back. Freeburg life expectancy falls 6%. Astronomer, unique solar eclipse coming. Atticus Tower invites public to view the solar eclipse. Everybody hates me. The city hall hates me a little less, which I find surprising. I find very surprising. Mole didn't come in to work today. Mole! Casey! Are you guys... I drank too much. Oh, it's fine. Don't come in today. Go home. You're going to die anyway if you come in. There's no way that many people would die from... Oh, let's, let's just solve this from, from drunk driving. There's no way. Ugh. Stop, stop, stop. Mole, you didn't come in and... Oh, you're costing me everything. Ah. Detective, hire for shift A. No, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Hmm. Atticus Corp. Detective slot, yes. Close. Close. Ah, uh, come on. Hire for shift B. Is it too late? It's too late. Jeez, Lord in heaven. Come on now. I'm so mad. Ah, uh, salt. Let's, let's do the best we got. What do we got? Pond caretaker replaced a rusty steward rusted out sewer grate in the pond ways from off from the boat station we sent a young diver lost his tank and nearly drowned and asked for a couple of more experienced divers but no one showed i'm still waiting to hear back from him and the main entrance to city hall is a great thoroughfare a tourist Terrorists could walk through like nothing. It kept telling him to give him experienced military with a large caliber of rifles, but nobody paid attention. Uh, critical tactical advantage alongside assaulters to supply cover. Okay. Engineer. If you go through a certain manhole, you can find a wobbly wall. Let's assume that is... The wobbly wall. They brought me in as an outside contractor when the court roof started leaking. City Hall offered us a lot of money to do the job quickly and thoroughly, but then they only paid us half what they promised. Remember, it was like it was yesterday. I was standing on the roof of the courthouse just before we finished the job, and I glanced up at the mayor's office thinking, I could have put a couple bullets to that greedy, lying asshole. Standing on the roof of the courthouse. This is the courthouse. There's the sniper. Foreman caretaker. During the months... Last months I worked there, Rogers threw a tantrum about the window cleaning, parking his hoist right outside his office. He acted like he was having a heart attack. I still remember him yelling, what if he had a weapon? It'd be a sitting duck. Nobody else goes up on the roof without my permission. He was about to move his office to another wing of the building, but he changed his mind because he likes seeing the courthouse out of his window. Why would he keep want to keep the staring at the courthouse? Who knows? Whereas he really belongs as an asylum. So the courthouse. That's this. Uh, so we got a sniper. Okay. I don't get it. Why aren't the police doing anything? Enormous bursts of negative metaphysical energy have been channeling through St. John's Cathedral. Soon the Antichrist will be born. He will rise up through the roof from where the whole city will fall under his gaze. Hmm. I don't get what that means. Several months ago, the mayor made a big stink about our staff, not telling him where we were going to wash the windows. We were going to wash the windows. He got so wound up, he nearly pulled our license. I remember after it happened, I had to personally go down to City Hall and apologize. The local caretaker, a very nice woman named Angela, joked that my man scared Roger so bad he started splitting his work 
between two adjoining offices. Now we need now we'll need two window washers if we want to take him out. Ha ha. Manager of the View Wizards window cleaning service. Okay. So breacher. Maybe here. No. I sweep the city hall courtyard every morning when I pass by the phone booths. I see something I can't believe. A couple young male clerks have picked the spot behind the tracks as their special little quiet place, not for having coffee, no. They go there to lick each other. In my country, they'd get sent to cut timber in the tundra for that. But for some stupid reason, you treat everyone here like children. It makes me want to break the glass with my broom, jump through the window, and stomp their bones. And no one will notice either that part of the building is always closed for renovation. Where's the phone booths? Ugh. Former sniper. I wasn't going to kill anybody after I left the army. I felt like I had a hole in my heart. I couldn't keep my head straight. So I went up on the rooftops with an old rifle looking for good and bad positions, imagining what I would do if the city were attacked. I was remembering my youth in the military, you see. The day I was arrested, some student wearing glasses saw me and called the police. And I don't understand what I was doing. And they didn't understand what I was doing. I wasn't there to hurt anyone. It was just, just to get a good view of the area. I noticed I found a nice place, but it was only good for a general overview. You could put a band there if you had a whole team. But a lone gunman would do better on the roof of the church or the courthouse. Depending on who they're targeting. But who would listen to me? They just said I was crazy, bloodthirsty killer, and locked me up. Let's put a sniper here. Former intern. This month's... The month internship was a lot of fun. The other guys... And me were constantly running out the back entrance with smoke breaks, but after we got caught, the door was nailed shut. After that, they started using the corridor more like a warehouse. Hmm. Progress. Don't know what that means. Members of the two rival gangs previously had an agreement to share power in the area. But the peace is violently broken down. A fight erupted involving three dozen gang members, many of whom are carrying knives and clubs, even firearms. Proceed. Now we don't have to think about you anymore. Why do I need so many freaking... Archive. Let's see if that fixes it does not fix it. Archive. Pagan ritual. Reopen the case. Who can we put in charge of it? Wise. Let's see if we can get something out of that tonight. If I had those damn bats. I, literally it says you need bats on the door. And that's like the most obvious... The most obvious of all of them, and they won't let me find the damn bats. There's nobody to send. Sorry, y'all. Don't die, nobody. Found some non-automatic weapons, but they got away. I'm a little mad right now. If you can't tell, I'm just mad. Just mad. Because we're going to work late. And we're not solving anything. We're barely keeping it together here. A in progress. Attempted murder. Atticus Corp. What do they want? All my property's gone on strike. They're demanding higher wages and better social packaging. One, two, three, four, five. I can send five there. Can't afford to dismiss them all at once. Take too long to find out good replacements. Mac blackmail. Fine officers. Impudent immigrant named Sergi. A cup of tea. Explain to him. Everybody returning to his homeland in pieces. Let's see if this is worth sending people to first. My evil twin has sunk into the house and is trying to kill me so he can take my place. Please come save me. I've locked myself in the bedroom. Nope. We're going to send everybody here. Because they're going to give me money for it. 
And you are probably crazy, your twin brother. Who has twins? Twins are of the devil. Out of his mind on drugs, and mistake his own reflection in the mirror for an evil twin. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Dozens of immigrants carrying gasoline cans broke into the public library, assembled the pile of books. Uh, it doesn't look like I can do anything anyway. We're just wasting precious time reading. Precious time. One, one crime a day. That's what we're on to. Destruction of property. Civilian killed. Who cares? I mean... Arrgh! If you can't tell, I'm not a happy person right now. Not happy. Just, just die, everyone. Just die. Just go. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ah, uh, this is day 174. Can't do nothing. Just shut the day off. Shut the day off. End of the day. No. I don't care. No. I'll pass. End of the day. End of the day. Come on now. All right. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>